Gently close your eyes. Bring your awareness to the breath. Mentally scan your body. See how you're feeling inside the body today. Do you experience any tightness, any stiffness, any pain anywhere? Or are you comfortable? Just make a mental note of how you are inside your body. Start watching your breath. Just observe it without forcing it, without influencing it. Each inhale and each exhale. As you continue to watch your breath, you will notice that it's becoming slower on its own. Also notice how the mind is becoming focused and less distracted. Mentally take note of the surroundings, the environment around you, the sounds, the lighting, the temperature, the smells, everything. Just accept the environment around you. Have no complaints. Make a mental resolve that for the next one hour, you are going to stay focused on the practice. Stay here and now. Join your hands at the heart center, palms touching together. Let us make one long ohm sound and feel those vibrations throughout the body. A deep inhale. Let us start with a peace chant. Feel free to join me if you know the chant. Sahana Vavadu Sahana Ogunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastu Mavindishavahai your hands, bend your head down and slowly with a few blinks, open your eyes. Slowly come to standing position. Let us start with Shithili Karana Vyayama, some joint loosening warm-up practices. Stay together, hands by the side of the body. We will start with a breathing synchronization practice with movement. Raise your hands in front of you, hands in and out breathing. Inhale, expand and open up thorax, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now slowly, gently increase the movement, increase the pace. Inhale, exhale. Synchronize the breath with the movement. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, exhale, four, exhale, three, exhale, two, exhale, one, exhale. Increase the speed again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slow down, slow down. And stop the dance. Gently shake your arms. Observe your biceps and triceps. Take a deep breath. The next practice is spinal twists. Keep your feet about hip distance apart. <clears throat> Plant your feet firmly on the ground. Make sure that when we twist the upper body, the knees don't twist. Knees should always be facing forward only upper body is twisting. Place your arms at the shoulder level. Sharp exhalation through the nostril when we twist. Inhale.
gradually increase the speed. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slow down, slow down, and stop the practice. Again, close your eyes, gently shake your arms, observe your observe the changes in the body. Feel the twist in the upper body, in the spine, in the back muscles. Take a nice deep breath. The next practice, keep the feet where they are, about hip distance apart. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms upwards, stretch up. Make yourself tall, stretch the spine. Inhale. As you exhale, laterally bend towards your right, to the right. I'm just mirroring you. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. There's one key point. When you stretch your hands up, make sure that your elbows, your, your biceps touch your ears. That way, when you bend, you're going to bend laterally. You're not going to bend forward at that way. And keep these touching there together all the time. This practice helps with close the elbows also. Inhale. Exhale to the right, hold the position, feel the stretch, feel the stretch on the right, entire left side of your body. Keep them straight, yes. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, stay and hold it, feel the stretch, feel the stretch. Inhale, come back to the center, release. Then close your eyes, observe both sides of your body, feel the stretch in your arms, in the entire upper body. Experience the changes and take a deep breath. The next practice is forward and backward bending. <clears throat> you don't have to turn, I'm just trying to So you can either keep your feet together or you can keep your feet slightly apart. If you have balance issues, take the balance. Um, keep your uh, arms on your waist. When you bend backwards, you bend backwards like this. But when you bend forward, you take your arms and touch the floor. As far as your arms can go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue to breathe. Put your lower back, keep your knees straight. Feel the stretch on your chin, throat, chest, all the way to the abdomen and upper thighs. Feel that stretch on the front side. Feel the compression in your lower back, middle back, upper back, and back of the neck. Exhale. Forward bend. Again, keep your knees straight. If you have SI joint pain, you can gently bend your knees. Otherwise, keep the knees straight. If you have uncontrolled blood pressure, only go to tabletop position. But if you do not have blood pressure problem, you can go all the way down. Touch your chin to your throat or your chest and look at your knees. Loosen up and become a rag doll. Stay there for a few moments and enjoy the stretch on the entire spine and back muscles. Inhale, come back up. Stand with your feet apart, close your eyes. Just observe the changes in the body. 
feel that flexibility in the spine, the loosening up of the spine. Take a deep breath. Now let us go to sitting practices. <laughs> let us start with the Utkatasana. Stretch your legs wide apart, as wide as you can comfortably. Okay. So we're going to do Utkatasana repetitions where we touch our toes sideways, bending sideways. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale to your right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale and hold. Continue to breathe. Hold the position. Feel the stretch, intense stretch in your right leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale to the left. Hold the position, continue to breathe. Feel that intense stretch in your left leg. Hamstrings, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, release. Bring your feet closer. Gently wiggle them, shake them. Release any tension. Take a deep breath and observe the changes in the body. The next practice we are going to do is Poonamanasana twists. Sit in Dandasana with your back upright. Make sure that when we twist and bend down, lock your toes like that so that your feet don't lift up. Okay? Feet have to stay on the ground. Your buttocks can twist and lift up, but the feet have to stay on the ground. They should not twist. Okay? Start the practice. Inhale. Exhale to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. When you are bending, don't Rest the elbows on the ground. Okay? Only hands are on the ground. Yeah. Exhale. Inhale. One last time. Exhale to the right. Stay there. Experience the tendons twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Come back. Exhale to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Come back. Relax. Sit back in Shitla Dandasana. Just experience the twist, experience the changes to the body, feel those sensations while taking gentle deep breaths. The next practice is tiger breathing. Come on to your knees. Keep one elbow distance between your knees. One elbow and one palm distance between your knees and palms. Come to tabletop position. As you inhale, push your lower back down and lift your head up. As you exhale, arch out your back like a cat. Drop your head down, touch your chin to your chest and look at your belly button. Inhale. Look up, push the lower back down. Exhale. Watch out the back, touch your chin here. Inhale. Exhale, one smooth movement. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. And hold the position. 
Continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Feel the compression in the lower back, middle back, and the back of the neck. Feel the stretch from your chin, throat, chest, all the way on the abdomen. Abdomen feels the most stretch. Exhale. Arch out the back. Drop your head down. Touch your chin to your chest. Look at the belly button. Hold the position. But continue to breathe. So experience the expansion of the spine. Space being created between each vertebra. Feel the stretch on the entire back. Again, feel compression on the throat, stimulating your thyroid. Neck muscles completely relax. Inhale, come back to the center position and let relax. Then sit back. And observe the changes to the body. Let us know practice. Prone warm-ups. Come to prone position. We're going to do alternation of cobra and downward dog. Five rounds. Chin on the ground. Hands by the side of your chest. Toes stretched out. Feet together. Inhale. Come to cobra position. Pull your toes. And exhale. Swing into downward dog. Inhale. Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Last time, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Relax in Makarasana, upright pose. Experience the sensations in the body. Just practice while making your spine flexible. Also improves the upper body strength. Roll onto your backs into spine position. Do straight leg raises. Head on your back. Hands stretched above your head, palms facing up. Those of you who have lower back pain can fold your left leg so. But if you do not have any lower back issues, you can keep both legs stretched out. Let us start. Leg raises with right leg first, then rounds. Keep the knee straight when you lift it. Do not bend your knee. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Engage your core. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we will do it with the left leg. Inhale, left leg up, exhale down. Inhale 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 up, exhale down. Relax, relax in Shavasana. Observe the sensations on your upper thighs and in your abdominal region. These are the two parts that get engaged when we do this practice. The next practice we are going to do is bridge pose repetitions, say to Bandhasana stretches. Hands by the side of the body, palms facing down, hold both the legs, plant your feet on the ground, bring them as close to your buttocks as you can. Inhale, raise your buttocks, raise your middle back, middle back and upper back, all the way up to make a bridge pose. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. 
Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Hold the position there. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale down. Stretch your legs out. Come to Shavasana. Observe the sensations in the body and take a deep breath. The next practice we're going to do is folded leg lumbar stretch. Spread your hands sideways at shoulder level. Fold your legs at the knees. Inhale. Raise your feet into the air. Inhale. No, fold it. Fold the legs. Fold the legs, but yeah. Keep it. Keep it Inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees towards the right side while looking at your left fingertips. Your entire upper back should be in contact with the ground. Only the lower part is twisted. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, drop your knees towards the left side while looking at the right fingertips. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, knees to the right. Look at your left fingertips. Both shoulder blades flat on the ground. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, knees to the left. Look at your right fingertips. Feel that nice twist in the body. Inhale, come back to the center. One last time. Exhale, knees to the right. Look at your fingertips. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, knees to the left. Look at your fingertips on the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. And relax. Come back to Shavasana. Take a deep breath. Observe the body. Now roll to one side of the body. And using the hand support, push yourself to sitting position. And slowly come back to standing position. Let us do sun salutations. Surya Namaskara. You would want to sit out for this. That's fine. Come to the front of your mat. Let us recite the sun salutation mantra. Kiran mayena patrena satya sya pihitam mukham tatvam pushan napavun satya dharmaya drishtaye. Inhale, stretch your hands, look at the fingertips. Exhale, hands to feet. Inhale, take the right leg back. Wide lunge. Hot straighter pose. Exhale, plank. Inhale and exhale into child's pose. Inhale and exhale into Ashtanga Namaskara. Gently raise your hips. Inhale, into Cobra. Exhale, swing into downward dog, Adon Prashwanasana, repeat your belly button. Inhale and exhale into child's pose. Inhale, right leg forward, Ashwakan Chalanasana, wide lunge, Dupa. Exhale, Padahistasana. Inhale, exhale. Second round, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Stretch the toes out, look up. Exhale, into plank. Inhale and exhale, child's pose. Inhale and exhale, prostrate and pose. Inhale, to cobra. Exhale, into downward dog. Inhale and exhale to child's pose. Inhale, left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, Father Hastasana, hands to feet. Inhale. Exhale. Is everyone doing okay? Yes. Yes. Inhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg back. Fire branch. Drop your knee down, look up. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hands pose. Inhale and exhale. Exhale, Namaskarasana. Prostration pose. Inhale, Cobra, Ujangasana. Exhale, downward dog. Adhomukashwarasana. Inhale and exhale. Shashankasana, Child's pose. Inhale, right leg forward. Wide lunge, Yuga, Ashwasanthalanasana. Exhale, Padahastasana. Drop your head down. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Push the toes out, look up. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale and exhale, child's pose. Inhale and exhale, Ashtanga Namaskarasana. Prostration pose. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Child's pose. Inhale, left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, Padahastasana. Inhale. Two more, two more sets. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, plank. Inhale and exhale, child pose. Inhale and exhale, prostration pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale, child pose. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale. Drop your head down, first push into chest. Inhale. Look at the fingertips. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Push the toes out. Look up. Exhale. Hand pose. Engage the core. Inhale and exhale. Side pose. Inhale and exhale. Shtanga Namaskarasana. Inhale. Cobra, feet together. Exhale. Adhomukhashwanasana. Inhale and exhale, child's pose. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale. Raise the feet. Adhomukhashwanasana. Inhale. Take a nice deep breath. If you want to hydrate yourselves, take a sip of water. How's everyone doing? Good. Let's just walk along the mat just to cool off the body. Taking a few slow and deep breaths. Just taking notice of the body, taking notice of the breath. Let us now go for asana practice. The first standing asana practice that we are going to do is Parigrita Trikonasana, a twisted triangle pose. Spread your legs as wide as you can, comfortably about two and a half feet, two feet, two and a half feet. Inhale, 
with your hands up at shoulder level. Exhale, push your buttocks back, keeping your back straight, come to tabletop position. Inhale, take your right hand to the left foot, left hand raised in the air, fingers pointing at the ceiling. Look at the fingertips of the hand pointing at the ceiling. Hold the position and Five, inhale, again come back to the tabletop position, exhale there, as you inhale, come back up, exhale, drop your hands, bring your feet closer, stand with your feet slightly apart, close your eyes, observe the different sensations in the body, all the parts that got engaged. Feel all those stretches. Take a few deep, gentle breaths while focusing on those areas, on your legs, on the twist in the upper back, on your arms. Open your eyes. Let us repeat the posture on the other side now. Again, stretch your legs wide. Inhale, raise your hands at the shoulder level. As you exhale, push your buttocks back, keeping the back straight, come to tabletop position. Inhale again. And as you exhale, take your left hand to the right foot, right hand up in the air, fingers pointing at the ceiling. Yes, and look at your right hand fingertips. Yes. Five. Inhale, come back to tabletop position again. Exhale, inhale, come back up. Exhale, drop your hands, bring your feet closer. Stand with your feet slightly apart. Observe the different changes in the body. Feel the engagement of your upper back, a twist in the spine and in the back muscles. Feel the stretch in your hands and your legs. Take a deep breath. The next practice we are going to do is uh, seated practice. Let's come to sitting position. Let us practice Vakrasana, the spinal twist, posture. Sit in Dandasana, back upright, like stretch in front of you. Let us start with right side. Hold the right leg so that your foot is along the knee joint of the left leg. Take the right hand behind you. Do not lean. You are just lightly touching the hand. Inhale. Raise the left hand up. As you exhale, completely twist your body towards the right side. If you want to, you can hold your ankle like that. Otherwise, you can hug your knee. Here you can hug your knee so and bring it close to your abdomen and chest. The whole purpose, uh, the hand should be back. You folded the leg right, the same hand should go back. Yeah. yeah. Now twist towards that side. Yes, that's it. Right? You can hug your knee and bring it close, or you can do this. The purpose of this posture is to give a deep twist to the spine as well as to give stimulation to your abdominal organs. Do not lean back, don't put weight. Even if you remove the hand, you should be able to support the posture. You can either look over your shoulder behind you or you can look ahead. Hold the posture. Then five. Inhale, raise your left hand up, untwist the body. Exhale, stretch your legs up, sit back in Shikala Dandasana. Observe the abdominal region. Observe the spine and back. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes. Let us practice this on the left side now. Put your legs up. Hold the left leg. Sit along the knee. Left hand behind you. 
Inhale, raise the right hand up. Exhale, twist completely towards the left side. And hold the position. You can look over your shoulder behind you or you can look ahead. Hold the position. Ten. Five. And one. Inhale. Release the hands. Exhale. Raise the legs. Sit back in. Shikila Dandakana. Drop your head and relax. Let us now come to prone position. We will do up asana in the uh, prone position. Bhujanga asana. Um, let's do one more asana in sitting position. Okay, so we're going to do something called Janu Sirsha asana. Head to knee pose. So sit in Dandasana first. Body upright. Keep the right leg stretched out. Hold the left leg in. So for you, you can keep it there because it hurts. But otherwise, keep the foot into your inner thigh as close as to your royal as okay. Now square your hips so that you are facing forward. Inhale, raise both the hands. Stretch up. As you exhale, start bending from the lower back. Take your both hands where they go. They should not be like this. They should not be like this. Both hands should be together where they go. And then bring your head close to your knee. As much as you can. Don't bend the knee, keep the knee stretched out. Push the knee down. Now feel that intense stretch in the back of your legs, also in the lower back and along the entire back. Your entire back is stretching, your right hamstring is stretching. Now relax. Relax in the position. No more pushing, no more stretching. Wherever you are, just relax there. And breathe slowly. Inhale, raise your hands up, raise your upper body. And exhale, drop your hands down, stretch both legs out, sit back. Observe the changes to the body. This practice heads to head to knee pose, Janu Sikshasana, is very, very beneficial if somebody wants to sit for long duration in meditation. This practice, this particular posture conditions the body so that you will be able to sit for longer duration in meditation. This is a preparatory practice for meditation. You, you might have noticed after you finish this practice and get back, your mind becomes completely empty. Absolutely no thoughts. Mind is, mind is like so tranquil, so still like a still leg. Experience that the next time when we do it on the left side. Let's repeat it on the left side. Hold the right leg in. Keep the right, right, left leg stretched out. As soon as you fold, your twist, hips will twist. So square your hips. Again, face forward. Inhale. As you exhale again, bend from the lower back. With your hands. Both, both hands go. Drop your head down. Hold the position. And relax. Relax in the position. Feel the stretch. Intense stretch in the left hamstring. Elongation of the spine. Stretching of the back muscles. Any tension, any pressure in the lower back, lumbar region is removed. Inhale, hold your hands up, and exhale. Sit back in Shikra Vandasana, and observe. Observe the mind, how empty, and how focused and calm it becomes after the practice. Also, there is a lot of blood flow to the head region in this practice because of forward bending, <coughs> those memory. 
So the next practice we are going to do is Bhujangasana in prone position. Come to prone, feet together, toes stretched out, hands, bring the hand, palms by the side of your chest, slightly lower near the ribcage. As you inhale, raise your chin first and then the chest. Then slightly using the hand support, till your elbows are straight, till your upper body up, the entire lower body is down. Look up. Bring your feet closer. When you touch your heels together, you will experience a deeper compression in your lumbar and in your buttocks. Hold the position. As you exhale, gently lower yourself by bending the elbows. Relax in Makarasana. Cross your hands in the front. Spread your legs apart. Heels stand inwards. Turn your heels inward, facing each other. Rest your head on your hands. Observe the body. And take a deep breath. Now lie down on your back. Let us practice DRT in relaxation technique. After all this stimulation, we have to relax to improve the cell receptivity. Lie down on your back. If your lower back is bothering you, you can fold your legs and keep your feet on the ground, flat on the ground. Or you can come to Shavasana. Place your hands wherever they are comfortable, either by the side of your body, arms facing up, or you can place your arms on your tummy or above your head. Just arrange yourself in the most comfortable position because you are going to be in that position for the next 10 minutes, relaxing. Observe the subtle movements of your abdomen when you breathe in and breathe out. The abdomen raising, then you inhale, and the abdomen falling. Take your awareness to your toes and watch them relax. Relax the bottoms of your feet. Relax your ankles and the calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your buttocks, the hip joint, relax the entire pelvic The entire lower part of the body is relaxed. Let us now make one ah sound in low pitch and use the resonance to energize the lower part of the body. Inhale. Experience the energy from the sound, penetrate the lower limbs to energize them. Bring your awareness to your abdominal region. Relax the abdominal cavity and the abdominal muscles. Visualize your digestive system and relax it. Inhale, expand your chest. Exhale, collapse it and relax the ribcage. Visualize your lungs, inflate and deflate like two balloons when you breathe in and breathe out. Relax the lung muscle. Feel the heartbeat inside the chest as well as the pulse in different parts of the body. Relax the heart. Relax the shoulders, the upper back, 
the middle back and the lower back. Visualize your spine and relax it starting from the bottom most tip all the way up to the back of your neck. Relax the neck muscles. Swallow a little bit of saliva and relax the throat muscles. Relax your upper arms, elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the palms, and the fingers. <clears throat> the entire middle section of the body is relaxed. Let us now make the oo sound and feel those vibrations in the middle part of the body. Place your awareness at the heart center. Inhale. Experience the energy from the O fill the middle part of the body. Now shift your awareness to the head region. Relax your chin, jaws and mouth. Put a smile on your face. Relax your lips, cheeks. Relax your nostrils and the eyes. Relax the forehead and the ears. Relax the back of your head and the top of your head. The entire head region is relaxed. Let us now make a hopping sound, sound with lips together and use those vibrations to energize the head region. Place your awareness between the eyebrows and inhale. From head to toes, the entire body is relaxed. Let us now use the combined sound in one single breath, all three sounds, ah, ah, and mm. While making the ah sound, use a lower pitch and awareness in legs. For oo sound, medium pitch and awareness in the heart center. For mm sound, awareness between the eyebrows. Inhale. Experience the energy from the sound penetrate every internal organ, every joint, muscle, every single cell. So deeply relax and rejuvenate the body at the cellular level. Gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, move your head from side to side. Roll to one side of the body, supporting your head on your upper arm. Just bend your knees and stay there in that position for a few moments. Enjoying the relaxation of the body and the mind. Slowly come to sitting position with your hand support. Sit in any comfortable meditative posture with your eyes closed. You can sit either crisscross or Vajrasana, thunderbolt pose, or Adha Padmasana, one foot on top of the thigh, or Padmasana. Any, any posture that you are comfortable. Let us now go for pranayama, the breath energization techniques. The first practice we are going to do is alternate nostril breathing. 
नाड़ी शोधना प्राणायाम एडॉप्ट नासिका मुद्रा क्लोज द फर्स्ट टू फिंगर्स रिंग फिंगर लिटिल फिंगर एंड थंब ऑफ द अदर हैंड एडॉप्ट चिन मुद्रा इनहेल विद बोथ द नॉस्ट्रिल्स स्लाइडली चिन अप कीप योर आईज क्लोज बैक एंड नेक अपराइट इनहेल क्लोज योर राइट नॉस्ट्रिल विद योर थंब एक्सहेल थ्रू द लेफ्ट Five, four, three, two. Now inhale to the left. Switch the nostrils. Open the right. Exhale to the right. Six, five, four, three, two. Inhale to the right. Switch the nostrils. Exhale to the left. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale to the left. Switch the nostrils. Exhale to the right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to the right. Switch the nostrils. Exhale to the left. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. Inhale through the left. Switch the nostrils. Exhale through the right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the left. Sorry. Switch the nostrils. Exhale through the left. Six, five, four, three. Two, one. Inhale to the left. Switch the nostrils and exhale to the right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to the right. Switch. Exhale to the left. Six, five, four, three. Inhale to the left. Switch the nostrils and exhale to the right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to the right. Switch the nostrils. Exhale to the left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the nostrils. Come back to Chin Mudra. Both hands. Keep your eyes closed. Observe the deepening of the breath. Feel a sense of balance between both the nostrils. And the amounts of air that's going in and coming out. Feel a sense of balance between the left and right hemispheres of your brain. The left and right sides of the body. The next pranayama we are going to practice is Brahmari, bumblebee breath. Brahmari falls under the category of resonance pranayamas. The moment you hear the word resonance, you understand that there is sound involved. In Brahmari, there are different kinds of Brahmari, but the Brahmari that we are going to practice today, we are going to make the mm sound with lips slightly apart. We are not going to touch the lips together, but lips are apart. And what is the tongue position? The tip of the tongue naturally touches the upper palate right behind your upper teeth. That's the tongue position. It's a natural position. The tongue automatically goes there when you make a mm sound. When you have to say mm, tongue touches there. That's the position of the tongue. It's slightly apart. The most important part of Brahmari Pranayama is the silence that follows the sound. Once you complete making the sound, do not use the last dregs of your breath for the sound. When your exhalation is 75% complete, stop, trail off the sound, stop the sound, and the last 25 25% of your exhalation, continue to exhale silently, and then automatically tune into the silence. The gift of the Brahmari, the, the reward of the Brahmari is that silence that follows the sound. And when you tune your mind into that silence, the mind becomes absolutely still. The moment you think that you, are, you start experiencing distractedness of the mind, that's when you go for the second round of the chant, second round of the sound. Okay? 
So, primary pranayama, because it's resonance pranayama, it, it creates such deep resonance in your cells that it promotes tissue repair. If somebody has an injury or somebody underwent a surgery, and if they want to get faster healing, even broken bones and things like that, primary pranayama uh, is is uh, helpful. It increases the healing. It, it, it fastens the healing and it, it increases the healing potential of the body, the innate healing potential of the body. Okay. So let us practice Dhamani Pranayama. Remember to keep the lips open and remember to tune into the silence at the end of the uh, sound. Adopt Chin Mudra. Chin slightly up, back and neck upright. A deep inhale. Inhale. Next pranayama we are going to do is a cooling pranayama. Brings the inflammation in the body down. Uh, very beneficial during summer months. It, uh, it brings, it cools down the body. So the latent heat in the body is, is increased. The core temperature of the body is increased because of uh, the heat of the summer. Or even if you have, if you are running a fever, doing this pranayama will cool the body down and bring the core temperature down. Uh, one major benefits of this cooling pranayama is that it brings blood pressure down. So if somebody naturally has a low blood pressure, some people have this low blood pressure condition, uh, those people should not be doing this pranayama. But if people with high hypertension, high blood pressure, this pranayama is very beneficial because it brings that blood pressure down. So let's practice this. If you, if any of you have low blood pressure, please sit out, don't do this practice. For this practice, we roll our tongue into a beak, like a bird beak. Some of us can do that. Some of us cannot roll the tongue like that. Something to do with the structure, right? Tongue structure. Those of us who cannot roll it like that can roll the tongue back horizontally, like so. Okay. So we roll the tongue and take the air in through the mouth. The air gets nicely cooled off. Then close our mouth and then exhale through the nose. Okay. Inhale through the mouth, close the mouth and exhale through the mouth. Let's do three rounds of it.
experience the sensation of coolness in your throat all the way in the body feel a sense of coolness around your eyes ears and on your skin after the practice of this pranayam you have practiced only three times but the longer the practice the easily you can feel the changes in the body join your hands at the heart center let us chant on om and close the session inhale Shanti Mantra together. Sarve Bhavantu Sushina Ha. Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhadrani Parshantu. Ma Kashchitu Khabhab Khabe. The meaning of this mantra: May everyone be happy. May everyone be free from illness. May everyone align with the truth. Let there not be a single soul that suffers. Let there be peace in the universe. Let there be peace in the human society. Let there be peace at the heart of every human being. Release your hands. Rub your palms together. Let them warm. Gently cup your eyes. Feel the warmth radiate onto your eyes. Relaxing the eyes. Gently massage the face and the back of your neck. Bend your head down and slowly, with a few blinks, open your eyes. Thank you. Thank Namaste. you. What is your name? My name is Satya. Satya.